Uh, college jacket. Okay, we can sell that. Oh, what the hell was that? Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on Alpha 18 Experimental. I am a tired guy gaming. <laughs> uh, I need to go to bed, but uh, having too much fun, man. Having too much fun playing this game. Uh, so, anyways, I'm on my way to the trader. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do a few things there. Uh, so, I'm loaded up with a bunch of stuff uh, from the base. Um, I decided to take all my ammo supplies, my bullets, my casings, my uh, uh, gunpowder, that sort of thing, and just actually store it at the trader because that's where the workbench and the bench currently is that we're using. So I figured, well, hell, I might as well just throw all that stuff over there, and then, you know, we have it there to, to make. So we're going to do that, and uh, we're going to make some, uh, some more gunpowder too, more bullets, that sort of thing. We're going to sell a few things to the trader see what the trader has for sale because they reset on day 16 and then we're going to go do that um that fetch quest that he wants us uh, to do okay so that's pretty much what we have on the agenda for today hope you guys enjoy this episode if you do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel i put uh, my next xp point into agility so we are now um let's take a look at that real quick agility we are now uh, halfway through uh, the agility tree because uh, five is the next requirement to start <clears throat> increasing gunslinger, archery, uh, from the shadows, uh, all the stuff that we're doing here in our agility playthrough. All right, so let's see here. What I want to do here is I want to make some glue, so let's get some, some wood going. So we'll make as much glue and as much gunpowder as we can make. So we need a total of... 17, 18, about 19 minutes worth of burn time for all that. All right, so that should take care of all of that stuff. And then I'm going to put any extra coal and nitrate that I have. I guess we used all of the nitrate, and we're just going to store it in here uh, for the next time that we come through here. Okay, so good. That takes care of that. Now let's go into here, and we're just going to keep cranking up the 9 millimeter bullets. Uh, we'll make 85 of those, and then again, we're just going to put the spare uh, inventory into here. So, is that, uh, that's what I wanted to do, right? Yeah, okay. Cool. Excellent. All right, let's go talk to the trader. Sell, uh, we have a few things we want to sell, and then we'll see what they have uh, for sale. <clears throat> okay, so let's sell first. Uh, too bad I didn't have a stogue with me, because then I could uh, probably get a better price. Anyway, uh, we want to sell this speaker schematic, because you know what? I don't give a shit about a speaker. I mean, I'm not, I'm not even sure what this actually does. Uh, yeah, I'm not even sure what this does. My, ver my guess is that if it does anything at all, it's probably more of a multiplayer thing. Anyway, so let's go ahead and sell it. Um, we're currently at 6,124.2, by the way. All right, we're going to sell this extra shotgun for 192. We're going to sell college jacket, the the boots. We're going to sell the digger mod. We're going to sell all the cash. The uh, six gold nuggets for 300. And I th oh, we need to keep this here too for shotgun uh, shotgun stuff. Okay, so that gets us up to 7,273. Thank you, Coin. Survivor. Whoops. Check back soon. I get new merchandise right. daily. So let's look at your secret stash first. Grandpa's forgetting the elixir. 40,000 coin. My lord. That's expensive. Uh, hunting rifle hunter. Gyrocopter. 100,000 coin. You can't, but you can buy it like outright. I, th I think that is so cool because you know what? In the end of game of Seven Days to Die... If you, you know, if you do a lot of buy and selling, you you just have like a shit ton of money and there's just not really anything to spend it on. So I, this is really cool. I like the fact that, you know, you can buy that stuff just outright. And I like the fact that it's really expensive as it should be too. Really cool. Okay. So anyway, um, crippling shots, shots to the leg, arrows or bolts, slow your opponent. Boy, 
man, oh man, would that be useful? But do I want to spend a thousand coin on that right now? Uh, 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 uh. Damn, that would be useful. It's particularly with how fast these Zs are. Oh, man. I'm going to think about that. I'm going to think about that. Let, let's come back to that. Okay, what do you got for medical? First aid kits. I uh, don't care about any of that. Tools and traps. Advanced bellows. That would... Well, we, we really kind of need to get our own forge before I start spending money on stuff like that. Speaker chip wire painkillers. Gunpowder hut 20. Okay, here we go. We got some clothing armor stuff in here. Excuse me. Um, Scrap. Nah, I don't think so. I think we're really actually in pretty good shape when it comes to armor. Anyway, as we currently are. So let's go ahead and... Pat, uh, okay, we don't need those mods. Don't care about the food. We are a workbench for 4,000 coin. Hmm, now that's something to consider too. Because... Here, let's... Hold on. Before, we'll come back to that. Let's just take... Whoops. What do we got for weapons here? Oh, guys, that's what I'm thinking I should spend money on because I'm kind of specializing in guns right now. A green pistol would give us... We would be able to put the cripple, cripple mod and the silencer on it. And we could even put that semi-trigger mod on it, not because we care about that, but because of the fact that would, our gun would do more damage. I wish he had an SMG for sale. I mean, he did. He, she, he, she. I get so confused. Uh, I think she did earlier, but we couldn't afford it, you know, at the time. That's that's what I'm thinking we should do is buy that. I mean, you know, later on we're gonna we're gonna come into the money anyway, so you know, and and plus that doesn't clean us out anyhow. We still, you know, we're still gonna have you know two two three thousand left. Whew, that's tempting. Okay, um, this is all just building stuff. Uh, oh, you know what else I would like to do, though? Okay. Um, we do need some more bow parts. We need, I think we need two more. Are you shitting me? It's 300 coin for just one of the, oh, man, that is expensive. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. All right, so what was the other thing? We, we were thinking about, what was that thing? Oh, we we're thinking about buying this. I think we still can. I think we can buy this and we can buy the pistol. Got enough bang to do it. Let's let's go ahead and do so. All right, so we got the green pistol. Um, I'm going to save this and scrap it, though. Uh, you know, just so we have parts, because we need to start building up parts for the SMG. Um, and then we still have enough money left over to buy this. Right? Yeah, we do. Let's do it. Okay, cool, man. I thank you, kind sir. I thank you, kind sir, ma'am, whatever, whoever, whatever you are. Okay, crippling shots. Yeah, okay, so let's read that. Excellent. Now, let's take and take the silencer off of here. Oh, here we go. And we're going to put it on our nice new green pistol with two slots. And then we're going to go back to the house and we're going to put the crippling uh, mod on here as well. I think that was a very good choice for us to do to spend that money. And then this we're just going to scrap to get those pistol parts because we need to start saving those up so we can uh, make an SMG. Oh, uh, let's look at something here for a minute. So to make a yellow SMG, we need a total of 10 parts. We have one part back at the house plus these three so that we'll have uh, we'll have four. Plus, oh, that's the other thing we should be looking at. So you get, do you have any steel that we can buy from you? Where would that be? Not there. How much was the workbench? 4000 Okay, yeah, we don't have enough money for that now, but that's something to consider for pot potentially later on. I mean, yeah, <clears throat> you know, we have to come here for the... We have to come here for the... Uh, bu 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 what am I trying to say? The Kim bench, to use the Kim bench anyway, so... Yeah, I don't... I'm not seeing steel in here. Yeah, he doesn't. He she, he she doesn't have any. Okay. Travel, survivor. 
All right, good deal. Uh, very happy to get this uh, this weapon here. So uh, basically, this is going to give us better durability in two more slots, and that's the improvement that we get from it. Cool, cool. All right, let's grab whatever ammo we were able to make out of here. And the rest of that we're just going to keep in here for now. But we should be able to get the glue out of here. And we have 126 gunpowder. I'm just going to let that continue cooking up because it's the... It's actually... Do we have enough burn time? 1222? Yeah, we do. Um, it's actually bullet tips, I think, that we don't have. Yeah. So we need to... I need to spend some time... Thought I heard something. I need to s spend some time um, harvesting some more lead. But that's something I can easily do off camera. Okay, cool. I'm very happy that we got uh, this green gun. That's going to be cool. So here's what we're going to do, guys. Um, our quest is over this way. Way the hell over there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I think what I'm going to do, though, is off camera, I'm just going to run back to the base, get that Crippler mod. I think it's going to be worth doing because it's going to increase the damage of this pistol. And then drop off a couple other things, and then I will bring you guys back when we get over to the uh, the quest, the fetch quest, and then we will do that. Okay, so I'll be back in just a bit. Don't go away. All right, guys, we are back, and uh, so I've set a bedroll down and a chest with some extra loot in it. Uh, we found on the way here, we found Shotgun Messiah Volume 2. Basically allows us to uh, craft uh, breaching ammunition, which is not really particularly useful, I think, on single player, but whatever. We'll go ahead and take it anyway, uh, get the XP for it, and uh, it'll count towards uh, the uh, getting all seven volumes here. Okay, so this is the house we're going to have to do our fetch quest in. Also, this is there's another church over here, too. So, depending upon how quickly this goes, uh, we may actually hit that church, too. We'll see how this goes, though. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I'm familiar with this house or not. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the older uh, Seven Days to Die houses. You know, the, the nicer houses. But it, I don't think it's exactly the same as those. So, all right. Let's go ahead and see what's what. So, we don't have to um, clear this. Yeah, we don't have to clear this entire place. We just have to get the stuff. But I want to get the satchel. But I, in addition to that, I also want to get um, the, uh, you know, find the the end treasure too so that's what we're going to attempt to accomplish here it does say that the satchel is above us Crap. okay so what we're gonna do we have to stay within range of this house oh crap a biker Oh, 
Um, by the way, I took the next point in agility too. So I think that's going to serve us well. Because this guy is bad juju. Okay, so we took care of them. Um, can we get up here again? Not quite. All right, we might have to uh, use some blocks to get up there now. <clears throat> Which we can do. So let's do this. We'll put a block there. That's not going to work, is it? Can't quite, uh... Well, shoot, this damn car's in the way here. Uh, what do we do about that? Okay, can we go... Okay, here we go. Uh, it doesn't want to let me put a block right here where I need to for some reason. Hmm. Okay, well, <clears throat> I suppose... See, in a... <laughs> I got it. I left my wrench back at the thing. We can't go go get it now because of the fact that uh, we would lose. We would mess up the quest. Can we do this? Okay, here. Yeah, let's do this. Let's break this out. Um. I mean, I don't even know if the satchel's in this attic or not, but it tells us that it's directly above us. Oh, come on, game. Goodness gracious. What did we hit? Oh, okay, I see what happened. We hit the... the ceiling there. All right, is she the only Zeke that's up here right now? All right, cool. Let's uh, drink some water here. So it says the satchel is now on the same level as we are. So that means... It's interesting how that goes up that way. Oh, there it is right there. I, well, I think. Is that it? No, that's not it. That's just a bag. <clears throat> Level 5 padded hood and some herbal antibiotics. That doesn't suck. Oh, you know what? I'll bet you it's inside of here. That's where I bet you it is. Bingo. All right, cool. So, we've got the satchel, but... Well, since we're here, we might as well finish out this house. I, w I would like to at least try and find the end treasure if we can. I think if we die now, hmm, I think we're okay. I think. <laughs> I'm not 100% positive. But I think if we die now, the satchel will stay with us and we can get, still finish out the quest. I hope I'm right about that. But this comes up through here. Ooh, there's a bookcase down there. Okay, so let's move around over here. There's something going on here. Yep, a doorway. Oh, it looks like that just leads to the, um, down into the house. All right. <laughs> Uh, I don't have my shovel with me. I left it in the thing, so I guess we'll just use the axe on this. Or we could have we could have uh, busted through the wall, but that's okay. Ooh, this is interesting. What do we have here? Um, let's put some. frames in here. Okay, why 
can't I get up there? Oh, because I'm crouched. Uh, okay, I think we have to remove this. We have to be careful because we could have buzzards up here. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm not sure what the purpose of that was because I don't see anything up here. I mean, I'm not sure why this this is here. Okay, let's go back this way. I'd like to get down to that bookcase. I don't see any, like, you know, uh, end, end the game type of loot up here. There's something behind this wall, though. Oh, that's just that, uh, that little shoot thing thingamadoodle that we were just at. Hmm. Okay, let's go this way. That door's, yeah, locked, right? <laughs> Nothing in here. The light's off, right? Yeah. Well, we got somebody's attention. That just goes outside, probably, right? Yeah. Alright. Not sure where that's coming from. Oh, shit! Biker guy. Uh, get the spikes down for him, because he is bad news. Just let him break through the door, and then uh, we'll let the spikes do some damage, and we'll unload on him. Nice. 750 XP for him. So he gives us about the same XP as an Edgar would. However, he's a hell of a lot more dangerous than an Edgar. Because he's faster. What do we got in here? Nightstand untouched. Lucky goggles, loot bonus plus 19, buried treasure, tra treasure, treasure radius one. You know what? I think I'll take that. We don't even have any eyewear yet, so we do now. That was a nice little find. Nice little find. Okay, cool. Let's go this way. Oh, that's disgusting. But you know what? That rotten meat is good stuff because we can make a farm, make farm plots with it. So I think I'll take the coffee beans. Pistol in the toilet? Nope. Yeah, there's some food over there, some clothes. Thingamadoodles here. Nice. I'll take it. Paper's always good. Grab the cloth from that. Okay, let's go into this room here. There could be a Zeke in there. And there is a Zeke right there. Okay. Oh, hey! Easy! <laughs> I 
<laughs> I didn't even hear Easy coming. Goodness gracious. Nope, no Zeke in there. Kind of figured he would have come out if the <clears throat> if he had been in there. Uh, we can loot this down into, or I mean, scrap this down into leather. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't care about the jar. You know, I don't think I'm going to carry the cobblestone either, because that's just so easy to make. This, is this worth anything if it was repaired? Uh, noise. Ooh, this would be good for, uh, this would be good for stealth. I think, right? Noise increased 0%. Wait a minute. Um... <clears throat> 10% noise in Oh, okay, I see. So the helmet actually makes us a little bit noisier. Interesting. Okay. Got a cabinet here with stuff in it that we don't care about. All righty. Let's go over here into the kitchen area. Get rid of that stuff because that can give us away. Hmm, that must be like just a really big, long skylight or something. Canopies. Uh, nope, don't want that. I actually mined up a bunch of lead off camera. And have it uh, <clears throat> back at the ranch, uh, smelting up into bullets for us. There's some leather. What do we got here? Sneaky. Nothing there. Time to repair the axe. This isn't even the right axe. <laughs> In fact, uh, I think I'm just going to scrap that. Because we don't need it. Okay, so we've covered the kitchen. I don't think there's going to be a Zeke in here, but... You never know. So much for what I think, right? <laughs> yeah, baby. And Big Mama's over there. Let's get this ammo pile. Very nice. Let's close that door in case she decides to sneak up on us. Uh, call this jacket. Okay, we can sell that. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, it's a spider. Oh, man, that scared me, man. <laughs> I was like, what? What in the hell? Whew, okay. Damn spider. I was going to run upstairs, and then I realized I haven't cleared upstairs, so I could have been running, you know, out of the bee's nest into the hornet's nest kind of thing. We got some cash. Uh, nicer quality helmet there for us. Oh, look. I think that's the end game right there, man. That is what we have been looking for. Which probably explains, I'll take that, why there was a spider in here. 
Here, let's uh, do something. Let's swap out this helmet. Uh, modify with the nicer helmet. And let's also uh, repair this so it's fully repaired. So that's only worth 27. Uh, let's go ahead and scrap it. We'll get plastic out of that. Okay, cool. So we got a nice, we got a little upgrade for our helmet there. A little nitrate action. Ugh. Gross, gross, gross. Toilet pistol? Antibiotics. All right, this is the prize, guys. This is the prize room. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, we're going to scrap that. And we're going to scrap that. And we'll take the ammo. That's good stuff. And that is not locked. Beautiful. Woo, diamonds. And 22 silver nuggets. Holy smokes. 1100 and these are worth 900. Nice little find there. Nice, nice find. All right, cool. So we uh, finished the house. Uh, actually, you know what? We haven't because we still have upstairs with a bookcase. There goes the stupid timer. Just spoiling our fun as usual. Can we check this already? Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's just... I'm going to keep you with me a little bit longer. This might be just a little bit longer video. But uh, we need to, let's finish this place out. Uh, so what we need to do is go upstairs because there was a bookcase up there. We are like so encumbered. All right, let's do this. Let's eat this. Yeah, normally we would get more brass if we kept those whole, but for the sake of the inventory space, I'm just going to scrap those. Uh, we don't need a murky water. We've got lots of water. So we can get rid of that. Uh, these we can scrap. This, um, yeah, I, don't, I mean, that's a really nice level hood. I, I'm a temp, I, I want to kind of hang on to it for now, I guess. I don't know why. <laughs> Probably don't need to, but I want to kind of hang on to it for now. All right, anything else we can get rid of here? Do, 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 No, I don't think so. I don't think I want to get rid of anything else that we have in here. Okay, so let's go upstairs. And I just want to hit that bookcase up here. What? But we might as well, you know, finish the whole rest of the house too, whilst we're at it. Oh, it looks like that's all. This is all there is to it. Okay. So we got a little something, something in here. It's just a trash bag. Uh, and a backpack. Can we get to that without breaking stuff? Oh, you know what? There's more stuff in there. We might as well. Let's just break it then. It's not like it's a big deal to break this. Okay, what do we got in the backpack? Uh, I guess we'll take those. And medical supplies, always a good thing. A splint. Okay. All right, we got three bookcases and something up here. Let's see what's in behind here first, and then we'll do the, the bookcases. Trash. <laughs> well, that, that wasn't wasn't too terribly productive, was it? Okay, let's get the cloth from here and from there. Uh, we were down there earlier, right? Okay, so let's see what we got in the bookcases. We've got a forge schematic. Ah, <laughs> oh, that sucks because we spent a point on that. And you know what though? It is what it is. It is what it is. It was not a mistake spending a point on the forge because we've needed it all this time. So it is what it is. Okay, here we go. Night Stalker 1. Use the cover of night to inflict more damage to your prey. Do 10% more sneak damage at night. Ooh, okay. Uh, I already know this. No, I don't... Wait, what? We didn't see about these other... I don't know this. I, I have one. Okay, so let's learn that then too. Nice. Okay. That was, a, that was profitable. That was a profitable doing this house here. Very cool. 
Okay, guys. Well, we are out of time. So, um, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Let's... How do we get out of this place? How did I get into this place? I don't even remember. We came through... Here. Yeah, okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is hightail it back to the trader and see if we can get this quest turned in before dark. Uh, before they close. Uh, I'm really going to have to scooch. But I ha the thing is, though, is I have some stuff over here, too. I don't think I'm going to be able to take it all. Um... Let's just see what we have here. I gotta remember now to reset my bedroll uh, when we do get back. So we were scrapping that. Oh man, I don't want to leave any of this stuff behind, and I don't want to come back for it either. That's worth seventy coin. Well, I don't really have much of a choice. If if I don't want to, you know, scrap this stuff, I gotta come back for it. That's all there is to it. But we need to take this with it. Okay, hold on. We can scrap this. Uh, we need to take the wrench with this. So, I mean, 14, 17 feathers we could probably leave behind. The hammer I was going to sell to the trader. Uh, we can probably leave three rotting flesh behind. Uh, I think I want to keep the Mega Crush with me so we could leave behind instead what? What could we leave behind instead? Probably the splint. And then, will those stack? No, that's something different. Let's leave behind the headlight. Okay, so none of this stuff, if I completely forget that this stuff is here, um, and never come back for it, it's not the end of the world. Well, it is the end of the world because we're in the apocalypse, but you guys know what I mean. Okay, <laughs> so, awesome. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it back to the trader, but let's give it a shot and see if we can. Probably not. No. All right. Well, what I'm going to do then, guys, I'm going to go home. Well, and actually, you know what I probably should do is we should go do this church. Um, That's what we really should do. We know where the fat loots are on the top, and we know that there's a whole bunch of schematics down below. So I think I'm going to do that, you guys. It's uh, it's going to be worthwhile to do so. Uh, there's no way I can make it back to the trader before, uh, you know, being encumbered like this and everything. So let's see. I'm going to dump that on the ground just momentarily. And um, <clears throat> we're going to do another, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to do another church run in the next episode. Um, I know we just recently did that, but it's super, super profitable to do this church. And uh, so, yeah, let's just do it again. All right. But uh, we're out of time now. So, guys, thanks for watching. hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. Those things do help the channel, and I do appreciate it. And we will go back to church in the next episode, uh, get some more cool schematics, and get the fat loots up at the top of the tower. Okay, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.